Let's consider a problem related to electricity. I'm reading the question. The question says how much current will an electric bulb draw from a 220 volt source if the resistance of the bulb filament is 1200 ohms. In order to understand the question, I have drawn a circuit with a usual symbol. Let this be the bulb, the, the electric bulb, and a source of potential difference is maintained using, using a battery or, some, or any other source there. So potential difference maintained is 220 volt across the bulb, and it's been connected through wires. The two ends of the bulb are connected to the two ends of the battery, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. The question is that saying that how much electric current will flow through this bulb. So what you are given, what you are given is you are given the, the resistance, one thousand two hundred ohms, and the potential difference V, two hundred twenty volt. And what you need to calculate is the current that will flow, the current that will be drawn by this bulb. How much current it will draw. So the amount of current that will draw, this is fixed. The amount of current that will be drawn by the by by the appliance it depends on the resistance of the conductor. Lesser the resistance means more current will form, will flow, and if the resistance is more, less current will flow. It's the gen, it's the literal meaning resistance, right? But according to Ohm's law, Ohm says that in an electrical circuit for any for any substance or any conductor, if the temperature is kept constant. Constant temperature is maintained. The potential difference ac across the conductor, the V, and the current flowing through it, the I, is constant. The ratio of the potential difference to the current flowing through a, any conductor at a constant temperature, if the temperature is maintained constant, then the ratio remains same, right? V is proportional to V is proportional to I, right? So if you draw a graph of V and I, it will be this. As the V increases, I will increase. As you increase the potential difference, the current flowing through it will increase. If you decrease the potential difference, the current flowing through it will decrease. So the ratio is constant. And that ratio is called the resistance of the conductor R. And its unit should be, so if you if you are measuring the volt, a voltage in V and a current in ampere, the resistance will be volt per ampere, or in other words, it will be ohm. So one ohm is equal to one volt by one ampere, right? So this is a relationship. R is equal to V by a, at constant temperature V to I is will be constant, and it is called the resistance of the conductor. So if you put the values of V and I, uh, sorry, there there are three there are three variables: the resistance, the voltage, and and, and the current. So if resistance is constant here, the voltage is constant, so what will be the current? So how will they get the current? You, it's V upon I, so when I, R comes over, it will be V, V upon R. So potential difference 220 volt, and putting the values, if you know, want to know the current, current is equal to V by R. Put the values of V and R, V is 220 volt, and R is 1200 ohm. So if you simplify it, it becomes, the answer, and the answer will be approximately 0 0.166 ampere. Right, so... Not even one ampere will flow, it will be 0.166 ampere that will flow through the, that is the amount of current that will be drawn by, by a bulb having 1200 ohm of resistance. Okay, so that, this is the current flow. Now, if, if, the, if there is a, a sudden change in the question, if the question is saying that instead of a bulb, if it is a heater and its resistance is 100 ohm, right? 100 ohm, then what will be the current flow? Let's see. Using the same uh, relationship between the resistance, uh, potential difference, and the current. If the resistance is replaced by, if it is become 100 ohm, uh, having the potential difference, maintaining the same potential difference, where same potential difference maintained. Let's see how much current will the heater draw. Heater is having resistance of only 100 ohm. That means it will be 100. So 100 divided by 220 will be 2. It will be around 2.2 amperes, right? So when the resistance is low, lower, huge amount of current flows. Right? If you lower the resistance, the amount of current that will flow through it will increase.
So what is resistance? See, resistance is what? It's the ratio. It means the ratio of the voltage. Resistance is 1200 ohm. It means the ratio of the voltage to, to the current is 1200. Voltage will be 1200 times more than the current. That's why that's why the current has become the value current is very low here. Right? But when the resistance is 100, that means the, the, the voltage will be the voltage will be 100 times of the current. So so the uh, voltage was only 100 times. Here the voltage was 1,200 times. That's why the current was very low. Now the voltage is only 100 times. So the current, is, current has become more, 2.2 ampere. Earlier it was 0.166 ampere. Now it has become 2.2 ampere. Right. This is how the resistance, the, 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 so what I mean, to, what I want you to understand is that resistance is nothing, but it's the ratio of the potential difference to the current that will flow through it. Here the resistance was 1,200 ohm. It means that the voltage will be 1200 times the current. Here the reason is 100. It means that voltage will be 100 times that of the current. Right? So this 0.116, uh, 100 times is, uh, the voltage is, uh, the resistance is 1200. That means the voltage will be 1200 times of this. And when the resistance is 100, it means the voltage will be 100 times of this, that is 220 volt. I hope you have understood the question.